Don't forget to like, subscribe and share the videos. Hello all, welcome to Ganesh AIS Academy. This is a special session in which we are going to discuss about the previous year economic questions of the prelims UPSC. Okay. So, in which we are going to actually discuss about the economic questions. See, what we will do is, see, uh, how to crack a question. Okay. How to easily crack the question. Okay. How to find a key within the question itself. Okay and how to eliminate certain statements and go for our answers okay all these things will be discussed here okay so let's begin the question okay in the contrast of the indian economy non financial debt include which of the following see we know that debt means we are doing certain borrowings okay so we are going to you, we borrow something and we have to pay the debt service which means we have to pay the interest for it okay and after a certain time period we have to pay the principal amount also okay so that is what called as debt okay but what is non financial debt okay so what is non financial debt that is the most important thing okay see non financial debt means it is a debt if you are borrowing certain money okay and you are buying certain goods for your consumption needs okay consider that you are borrowing certain money and you are buying certain scooter bike fridge washing machine means that is a consumption goods okay consumption goods okay you are consuming that goods okay so that is not an investment okay so all these things are you are going to use it okay you are not to going to make it is a capital goods okay that you are buying certain goods that goods is not going to provide you any money towards you okay that that goods is not going to provide any benefits towards you okay economic benefits okay see you, uh, you are buying certain goods uh, goods consider it is a bike okay so that good that bike is going to help you okay but it in terms of money it is going to help you means no okay you have to spend the money certain towards that the bike okay you have to spend for the maintenance petrol all these things will happen okay so uh, these are the things are called as non financial debt which means see consider that you are buying a bike okay by borrowing certain money from from your friend okay so if you are using that bike for a financial purpose like you are using this bike to to the rapido or uber service means that thing is going to provide you certain economic benefits then it is called as financial debt but you are not going to using for that means you are just using that bike for your personal needs means that is that bike is not go, going to provide you any economic benefits okay such a scenario you have to spend certain money towards that bike okay so that is called as non financial debt so you borrowed a money and you buy a bike okay you are going to use it for a economic purpose okay you are going to make it as a rapido or uh, rapido or uber services means that is going to provide you certain money so then it is called as financial debt okay but if it is not going to be like that and you are using it for your personal needs means then it is called as non financial debt okay so this is the broad idea about the financial debt and the non financial debt okay so in a financial debt means it is like a capital okay but in the non financial debt means it is going to be the consumption goods okay you are going to consume that goods okay you are going to use it for your personal use okay so that is the major difference between the financial debt and non financial debt okay so with that with this knowledge you can answer this question okay so first thing housing loan owned by the household see you are buying a household okay but actually what we are going to do is you are going to stay in that home okay so it is like a consumption goods you are not going to use it for a capital purpose okay so buy that way one is correct okay next second amount outstanding on the credit card okay so for a credit card means there also you are using that credit card for your consumption needs okay so then that it's also called as non financial debt okay so then third statement tertiary bills see here is the trap okay see there are uh, two types of uh, the the government can make a borrowing in either way okay either for a short term or for a long term if they are going for a short term needs means they are going to spend on certain uh, uh, they are not going to spend it on the capital book okay if they are making a long term borrowing means then they are see t bills is actually less than 
365 days okay where is g sec it is 5 to 40 years okay so the tables is mostly used to spend on the people okay it shouldn't be in a capital way okay that that thing is like a, for a salary they will borrow okay for a pension they will borrow to provide subsidies they will borrow okay so by that way the table is used okay so in that the table is not going to produce any capital okay it is like a expenditure it is like a revenue expenditure for the government okay whereas if the government is borrowing through the gsec means it is a, a capital expenditure because it is a long term borrowing so what they will do is they will just invest that money in any infrastructure okay so that is called as capital investment okay capital expenditure okay so by that itself the table is means that short term thing it is going to like a consumption needs for the government okay so such a way the table is going to be used okay but if this statement is like g sec means then the one and two only correct okay but it is saying that it is a table means it is going to be consumption needs of the government okay for that they are doing a borrowing okay for that they are making a debt okay so by that all the three statements are right okay so these are called as non financial debt okay see i just listed it so financial debt refers to the debt incurred by the financial institution corporation government other entities primarily for a financial purpose this type of debt is typically used to raise the capital and the financial investment operation and other financial activities financial debt can be various form including bonds loans line of credit and other debt instrument so here itself it is clearly saying that raise capital finance investments okay so for investment purpose for a capital purpose means it is called as financial debt okay whereas non financial debt refers to a debt incurred by the individual household non financial business for a purpose other than the financial activities okay so this type of debt is typically used to used to finance the consumption and purpose of goods and services okay so it is for your consumption needs you are, you are going to use means you are making a certain debt and you are using using the debt money for your consumption needs for your consuming needs you are going to use that money means then it is called as non financial debt okay thank you